Greetings, we'll cover a few details about Richard Feynman and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, notable works, accolades, legacy, and demise. American theoretical physicist best known for his work in particle physics, where he proposed the Parton model, the theory of quantum electrodynamics, the physics of the superfluidity of liquid helium, and the path integral, formulation of quantum mechanics. Together with Julian Schwinger, Shinaikir Tamanaga, and others, Feynman shared the 1965 Nobel Prize in Physics for their contributions to the growth of quantum electrodynamics. Also known as Richard Phillips Feynman, famous as American physicist, one of the joint winners of Nobel Prize in Physics in 1965, born May 11, 1918, New York, New York, United States, died February 15, 1988, Los Angeles, California. United States. Father, Melville Feynman. Mother, Lucille Phillips. Siblings, Joan Feynman, Henry Phillips. Spouse, Mary Louise Bell, Arlene Greenbaum, Gwyneth Howarth. Children, Michelle Louise Feynman, Carl Feynman. Education, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Princeton University, Far Rockaway High School. Awards, awards, Nobel Prize in Physics, and more. Melville and Lucille Feynman welcomed Richard Phillips Feynman into the world on May 11, 1918 in New York City, USA. Lucille gave birth to a second baby when Richard was five years old, but he passed away four weeks later. Four years later, Joan, Richard's sister, was born. From 1931 to 1935, he attended Far Rockaway High School. For placing in the top five of the William Putnam Lowell Mathematical Competition, one of the most renowned academic competitions in the U.S. and Canada, he was appointed a Putnam Fellow in 1939. He completed his education at Princeton, where he was surrounded by his academic contemporaries, including John Archibald Wheeler, Wolfgang Pauli, and Albert Einstein. In 1942, with Wheeler serving as his advisor, he finished a thesis titled, The Principle of Least Action in Quantum Mechanics. Feynman was named Assistant Professor of Physics at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, when he finished his thesis in 1942. He received an invitation to join the Manhattan Project in Los Alamos, New Mexico, later that year to work on developing the atomic weapon. His duties on the project included, creating safety protocols for the storage of project materials, until its completion in 1945, as well as computing neutron equations for nuclear reactors. The following years of his career were characterized by a string of esteemed assistantships and professorships at different universities. He served as a theoretical physics professor at Cornell University from 1945 to 1950. He published his Feynman diagrams, which are visual representations of mathematical sequences of subatomic particles, in 1948. His graphics aided in the comprehension of solid state and quantum field theories. He served as a theoretical physics professor at the California Institute of Technology. In a race with his contemporaries in the area, the physicist focused his research on innovations in superfluidity of ultra-cold liquid helium and weak decay. He contributed to the reorganization of the physics program at Caltech in the 1960s by giving a series of lectures and explanations to the university's freshmen. The Feynman Lectures of Physics are a collection of textbooks that contain these lectures. The development of his thesis through work on quantum electrodynamics earned him the 1965 Nobel Prize in Physics. He published a book of memoir-style anecdotes about his life and work in 1985. The book, titled Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, was on the list of top sellers in the country. When Richard was asked to look into the NASA Space Shuttle Challenger's explosion in 1986, he determined that the fatal explosion was caused by low launch day temperatures. Under a live demonstration, Feynman demonstrated how the rubber seals around the spacecraft's joints 
could not expand quickly enough in cold conditions. This was his final significant contribution to the discipline of physics, and his discoveries shed light on the issue from both a scientific and political perspective. Arlene Greenbaum, his high school love, and Feynman were married until her death from TB in 1945. Richard's life was emotionally very difficult following the death of his wife. He was also troubled by remorse for his role in creating the catastrophic atomic bomb, which led to periods of despair for a while. He wed Mary Louise Bell in 1952, nevertheless, the union crumbled into divorce soon after. He first met Gwyneth Howarth during a seminar in Europe. In 1960, shortly after Gwyneth received her U.S. citizenship, he wed her. Together, the two gave birth to Carl, a son, and Michelle, a daughter, through adoption. He finished his thesis on The Principle of Least Action in Quantum Physics, which served as the basis for his work on quantum electrodynamics, for which he won the Nobel Prize. The theory was divided into two sections, the first dealt with the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics, and the second was concerned with the diagrams used to represent subatomic particles, also known as Feynman diagrams. When the Feynman Lectures on Physics was released in 1964, it quickly rose to the top of the bestseller list. For his contributions to the advancement of science, Feynman was recognized with a number of honors and distinctions. Additionally, he was given the Distinguished E. O. Lawrence Award and the Albert Einstein Award. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1965 in recognition of his contributions to quantum electrodynamics. He received the Ersted Medal in 1972 for his exceptional performance as a physics instructor. For his contributions to physics, he received the National Medal of Science in 1979. Feynman is remembered in a number of ways. The United States Postal Service released the commemorative set of 437 cent self-adhesive American scientists stamps on May 4, 2005. Richard Feynman, John von Neumann, Barbara McClintock, and Josiah Willard Gibbs were the scientists portrayed. A sepia-toned image of a 30-something, Feynman and eight miniature Feynman diagrams, are featured on the stamp. Victor Stabin created, the stamps under, Carl T. Herman's creative guidance. The Fermilab Feynman Computing Center is the main structure housing, the computing division. Two images of Feynman were featured in the 1997, Think Different, commercial campaign, by Apple Computer. Feynman devotee, Sheldon Cooper has imitated him on numerous occasions, including once by playing the bongo drums. Cooper is a fictional theoretical physicist, from the television show The Big Bang Theory. Bill Gates described Richard Feynman's teaching abilities in his article, The Best Teacher I Never Had, on January 27, 2016, and this article served as the impetus for Gates to launch Project Tuva which aimed to make Feynman's Messenger, lectures on the character of physical law, available online for free viewing. Gates produced a video in 2015, explaining why he believed, Feynman was unique. In response to a request, from Caltech for opinions on Feynman, the movie was created, to commemorate the 50th anniversary, of his 1965 Nobel Prize. A street on the Marin site at CERN, the site of the Large Hadron Collider, is named Root Feynman in honor of the physicist. When Feynman sought medical attention in 1978 for stomach discomfort, a rare form of cancer called liposarcoma was discovered in him. A quite huge tumor that had crushed his spleen and one kidney was removed by surgeons. Additional procedures were carried out in October 1986 and October 1987. On February 3, 1988, he was admitted to the UCLA Medical Center once more. He was in kidney failure due to a burst duodenal ulcer and chose not to have the dialysis that could have extended his life for a few months. He passed away on February 15, 1988, at the age of 69, with his wife Gwyneth, sister Joan, 
and cousin Francis Lee Wine by his side. When Feynman was on the verge of passing away, he questioned his friend and co-worker, Danny Hillis about, why Hillis seemed depressed. Hillis retorted that, he believed Feynman would pass away soon. Cold War bureaucratic obstacles prevented, Feynman from fulfilling a wish he had at the end of his life, traveling to the Tuvan Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, ASSR, in the Soviet Union. The document approving, the trip from the Soviet authorities did not arrive until, the day after he passed away. Later, Michelle, his daughter, traveled. When you grow to be as old, as he was in having told, so many stories to so many people, even when you are dead, you would not completely be gone, Feynman observed, adding that this disturbed him, occasionally as well. In Altadena, California's Mountain View Cemetery and Mausoleum, he was laid to rest. I'd hate to die twice, he said in his final moments. It's so dull.